billionaire Sam Altman has got a master plan which is to sell OpenAI Pro plan for $200 and it seems to be working. In this video I'm going to show you everything that I know about deep research and also a live demo at the end of this video. This is a deep research, a new product a launch from OpenAI which they are calling as an agentic deep research system and what does it do? You can go ask it any question and then it is going to go to the internet, do the research for you, get back to you and finally give you the answer. Research doesn't mean like Dexter Laboratory where you have got all these things that you are mixing chemicals. It's just going to search on the internet, collate the articles, finally give you the summary or a report or whatever that you want. This particular new deep search is powered by an unreleased model, an upcoming OpenAI O3 model that is particularly optimized for web browsing. That means it can go to internet, get some data for you, and then also do data analysis. So this model or this deep search, deep research is supposed to be something that will ideally replace your junior analyst. If you're a McKinsey consultant, I would start polishing my resume, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not day after tomorrow, but this is ideally going to be something that is going to come for your job. If your only job is to go to the internet, search a bunch of things, put together a report and then send it to a superior officer or a senior partner or something that you do in a consulting company. So this is basically Sam Altman and OpenAI's master plan to make you buy whatever that they're selling here for $200. And it seems to be working because a lot of people love it. Deep research is particularly very useful wherever you need intense knowledge work, like some deep work. So finance, science, policy, engineering, wherever you have to go to the internet, get some report at the end, this is going to be extremely helpful and I can see a lot of people using it because this is partly a lot of companies do it. If you were to simply understand what is deep research in a normal LLM, you have got an input and you have got an output. The input is a simple prompt and it goes to LLM and then LLM takes from whatever memory it has got from the training data and gives you an output. But what we decided to do is we decided to take LLM and then add some knowledge to it. So there is database from which LLM or some retrieval system is there. Retrieval system pulls some knowledge and that is what we call as RAG because you retrieve something and then give it to an LLM and then LLM finally uses the retrieved knowledge to give you a final answer back. So now what deep research is doing is it is taking RAG to the deepest level. So now if you've got LLM, but which is powered by O3, not like a GPT-40 model, and you've got thousands and thousands of articles on internet, probably by Google or somebody else. And then if you package all these things together, you've got a lethal analysis list with you along with citations. So basically you've got a junior level analyst. I don't know if you want to call it PhD level, junior level. I treat these as junior level systems. But the point here is that you, without you being actively involved asynchronously, you can do research Typically, deep sea research may take somewhere from five minutes to 30 minutes to complete work, depending upon how deep the question that you are asking. For a fairly simple question, it might be a couple of minutes and for a complicated question, it might be like five to 30 minutes. The main thing here is that you can ask a question, it is going to research for you, you don't have to wait in front of your screen. It is going to just go on the internet, do all these things for you and then get back to you. And also you are going to get a final report in the given format that you want. In upcoming weeks, OpenAI is also planning to update with uh, embedded images, data visualization and other analytical outputs because all they are trying to do is replace an analyst which I think will ideally work given how much these companies like McKinsey consultants charge. If you see deep research, there is like one important information that you have to know that it is going to be inside your internal resources as well. So for any subscription based system or internal resource, let's say like Salesforce, soon enough you will be able to use deep research from OpenAI to handle that data. I think that is quite valuable given the amount of resources that companies have only to answer very mundane questions. I think deep research will play a huge role in big tech companies only if they're willing to share the data with OpenAI, which I think at this point, not a lot of people care about. There is a benchmark where deep research has scored really good. The benchmark name is called Humanities Last Exam. Not a very big fan of this benchmark, not a very big fan of the company that has released this benchmark, which is scale. The founder is quite polarizing. But if you were to consider this as a good benchmark where LLMs have not scored a lot of marks, then this is a uh, benchmark for LLMs where deep research from OpenAI has scored a really good mark. If you compare models like GPT-40, 3.3%, Grok2, 3.8%, then you've got other models like, in fact, Gemini Thinking, 6.2%, and DeepSeek R1 with internet access is like 9.4%, uh, but the main thing here is deep research is 26%, which is 
double the amount of what OpenAI O3 Mini High got it. The only catch here is that which not a lot of people might notice when they look at the benchmark only deep research from OpenAI has got access to browsing plus python tool that means naturally your mathematical questions are going to be much better than when you for example compare it with gpt 40 which is 3.3 percent so 3.3 percent to 26 percent is quite impressive but you have to understand that it has got browsing plus python tool access so it's not purely llm i mean at the end of the day if you see the impact deep research is a good technology i mean it's a very natural evolution of what we want to do with llms we started with simple llms then rag agentic systems and now something to do research so which is quite good and you can see a lot of other benchmarks that open has released the comparison how the model is doing how many calls that the model is making and the good thing with deep research is that you also get to see all these things where are they accessing the links and uh, like oh, how many citations are being there how many websites it is visiting there are a lot of other benchmarks where OpenAI is given and this model is particularly good and a lot of people seem to be liking it for example this is a very popular person on twitter i'm only a day in so far but OpenAI is deep research and o3 is exceeding the value of hundred and fifty thousand dollars i'm paying a private research team to research about this particular disease for the treatment of his own daughter and this is just $200 per month which is an insane ROI and Sam Altman acknowledged this and said that this is going to soon come to free, free and plus tier user as well. This is exactly how organizations are being looted by these consulting companies where they charge a heck lot of amount just putting one consultant or one analyst just to analyze a bunch of things and then give it to their partner who will come with a very nice beautiful suit and then probably flying first class and a business class coming and just telling you what is wrong in your company. Now deep research can do that for you. I'm going to show you a demo. Unfortunately, I did not have access to deep research. So I asked a friend on Twitter, Adonis Singh, to get a screencast for me. So you can go ask any question like this find the most interesting russian research papers between 1960s to 70s and give the detail how you want the final report to look like and deep research will start with clarifying questions another important thing that i love about this unlike a dumb human being is that it first asks you clarifying questions and then gets to the work this is a very good uh, technology i would say like strongly a lot of people will start finding value in it uh, am i going to pay 200 dollars to access it no i'm not going to do that i might go to deep seek or one and then start doing the same thing i'm going to put together a tutorial how you can build your own deep research using something that you have got in your either local computer or some simple cheap apa smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to know more when i publish that video but for now deep research from openai is an incredible tool and as you can see here it does all the things that a typical analyst would do maybe you would say that there is not going to be a human aspect but a lot of requests do not require any human aspect and this can be really helpful for companies to reduce cost and also reduce the time taken to get a research report like this we're going to see how this is going to impact in the actual research and development field but for now this is a great launch from openai except that they copied the name from google see you in another video happy prompting